coronavirus. The coronavirus has gotten it's affecting our into network. our Wi-Fi. It's affecting our network. It's gotten itself into our <laughs> network. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Um, we can start with this. You want to just start with this? Yeah, let's start with an inspiring message from Matthew McConaughey. From Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> hey, everybody. McConaughey here. Just want to say in these crazy times uh, that we're in with the coronavirus, um, let's take care of ourselves and each other. Uh, let's not go to the lowest common denominator and get paranoid. Let's do our due diligence, take the precautions we need to to take care of ourselves and those of us around us. Right now, more than ever before, we're all more dependent on each other than we ever have been. But we have an enemy in the coronavirus that is faceless, that is raceless, I sexless, non-denominational, <laughs> and bipartisan. That's the enemy right and it's now an enemy me. that we all is my agree price up? <laughs> we're going to beat we want to be, and we're going to be, all right? So in this time right. when people are going to move on, the economy is going to be in shambles for who knows how long, there is a green light on the other side of this red light that we're in right now. And I believe that green light is going to be built upon the values that we can enact right now, values of fairness, kindness, accountability, resilience, respect, courage. If we practice those things right now, when we get out of this, this virus, this time might be the one time that brings us all together and unifies us like we have not been in a long time. So, yes, let's see if we can make some lemonade out of this lemon that we're in the middle of. Turn a red light into a green light. Just keep living. <laughs> I just, all right, all right, all right. Okay. It's going to be all right. You guys. That's a good message. <laughs> it's very good. I yeah. love that message. It's a good message. I like and it. I love the way he says it. Mm -hmm. His like lazy, sleepy Sunday afternoon His napping voice. Texas draw. Mm -hmm. That's perfect, yeah. right? Yeah, it is good. I mean, it's I kind of wish we could just run this red light, uh -huh. but we yeah. can't do that. So instead, apparently the government is just going to give us all money. <laughs> I just give, us, give us our money. Yeah, this gonna is. Get, he, they're going to give us our money. I feel like this is a terrible idea mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Well, I mean, it's the government's idea. So I feel like that's redundant to say it's a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're the government and we're here to save you. We're, yeah, exactly. It's, it's usually a bad idea when they when they do that. You kind of go, oh, God, I'm going to run the other way. And at the some government... point, we're going to regret this deeply. I feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I really want a thousand or two thousand dollars. Woo! Yeah, I mean, that sounds nice Yeah. to have that. Mm -hmm. It's just that maybe we're, there should be a little more discrimination about how it's doled yeah, out. We're going to have to pay that back because it's our money. But now, of course, the Senate is like, no, 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 we just got to pass it and then yeah. we'll sort out like how bad it is later on. We'll mm -hmm. figure out how to fix all the stuff that's wrong mm -hmm. later. <laughs> I mean, at that's at never no good for time anybody. have I ever wanted a government handout. At no time have I ever wanted my children to have a government handout. I don't want it now. I just don't want it. I don't want it. You could give it away. I don't. It doesn't. Listen. <laughs> it still doesn't. It doesn't make it better. I know. I know. It doesn't make it better. Where's the money coming from? Us. Right. That's I mean, where the so money's coming from, it's Renee. It's now or, it's, you know, why can't they just suspend taxes yeah. from being taken from people? Yeah, because right? what they're trying to make, they're trying to make themselves look benevolent when in fact it's our freaking money. That's what they're doing. And it it's, just seems like, you know, having a, a salary cap on how they're doling it out or just handing it out to every American indiscriminately seems very bad yeah it seems like just a bad Dreka said you'll have to pay it back on your taxes next year of yeah course. of course you will and and carolyn's like it's a bad yeah it's a bad idea it's a bad idea because it came from the federal government they of don't, course it's a bad idea they're not known for their good ideas mm -mm. really they're not real bright um so tired of talking about this virus. I'm really tired of talking about it too. I mean, we're going to be talking about it probably. I just can't. Can we talk about like, like anything else? Like, y'all want to talk about something else? We yep. Yesterday we talked about our favorite movies and stuff in um, our podcast, the Mock and Daisy Common Sense cast. We did. We talked about that. I mean, it, it was centered around the coronavirus, but we talked about um, things to watch um, to take your mind off the coronavirus. When you're all quarantine -y. Yeah, because everybody's. Did so you guys see the actual quarantini? 
It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's aviation gin and those emergency <laughs> packets. Yes. That's the quarantini. The quarantini. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so in other news... And it, this is probably what we would have been talking about right out of the gate if this wait, were wait, not on. such a weird time. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Natalie asked, are the illegals going to get a check? Are the illegals going to get a check? Well, I mean, they say every American. So I don't know. It depends on how they define it. <laughs> right? But that's, Who knows? A, but that's a great question because they probably will. They probably will. A lot of them, because think about the people who are here illegally. A lot of them probably are going to get a check. I mean, I would, because there's got to be a method, right? There has to be some method of doling out the money. Um, and so is it a social security number? Is it, I don't know how they're going to, how they're going to do this. I have no idea. Yeah. I bet you a lot of illegals will, will get checks. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would, yeah. Which I'm makes my, for that my well. blood boil. Um, but what we would normally be talking about, if not for coronavirus, is the fact that there was, you know, more primaries last night and Joe Biden won uh, three of them handily, like handily handily i'm not winning <laughs> you're not winning bernie you're not yesterday on yesterday's radio show i was lamenting yeah. the fact that once bernie has to drop out which is inevitable what are we gonna do like she's we're not gonna be able to summon bernie as much because there won't be as much news about him you can still summon me because <laughs> once again i'm asking for your financial support <laughs> right rob See. hey rob you big perv hey. <laughs> We're gonna go get some chicks, let's Bernie. Go, let's you're go. Done. Let's go troll for some chicks, Rob. You're done, Bernie. You're done. I got nothing else to do, Rob. Let's go get uh, some chicks. Uh, make some bad decisions. Doesn't it suck that I can't even buy you that burger now? I know. Oh my God, that's right. Oh my God, that's right. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, because it's closed. Tell them about the bet. Okay, so we had a bet at the beginning of um, time, basically. <laughs> I guess it's like forever ago. And I told Rob, I said, when this all started with the Democrats, I'm like, it's Joe Biden's going to be the guy because Democrats are predictable and they have no originality. And it's going to be Biden. When all is said and done and all the chips fall, it's going to be Biden. Biden's going to be their guy. And he's like, no way, man. <laughs> no way. It's going to be anybody else but Biden. So we Because there were like 39 people running. Yeah, there were, there were like 4,200 people running. <laughs> so, so I thought it was going to be Biden for sure. And he's like, no way, man. I'll bet you a burger at this strip joint here in um, Indianapolis called the Red Garter that and they have really good burgers, you guys. Oh it's not about and what we know they do because there. they brought them to they us. They did. They we brought don't them to us. That establishment. And it was really <laughs> sweet because they ended up naming a burger after me. It's the Daisy Burger, and it has avocado on it because I am extra. And so they they brought the burgers. They were amazing. And so we bet a burger that Biden would. I thought Biden would win. He thought anybody else would win. And lo and behold, Biden's going to win this thing. And in the in betting terms, correct me if I'm wrong, Rob, but they call that. You took the rest of the field. Correct. Boy, that's sexy when you talk. <laughs> Look at that. Look at you. Look at Poor you. Rob's now been relegated to like betting on the weather. <laughs> I know. I know. So so the thing is, is that I won the bet and he can't even go. Because now the red garter's closed. He can't even go buy me that burger. Because... You guys can go to the chicken ranch if you have a way to get outside of Vegas. <laughs> I don't think we could get to the chicken Hey, you know they ranch. offer group discounts. At the chicken ranch? Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the chicken ranch. Uh, we chicken talked about ranch. this on our show yesterday. It's a brothel outside of Vegas, which yeah. continues to be open for business. <laughs> but listen, they're using hand sanitizer, you guys. <laughs> On what parts of their body? I have no idea. <laughs> In between clients. <laughs> I'll pay if you'll participate. No. <laughs> but I get to watch. It's a big no, Rob. <laughs> big no. Anyway, Bernie is probably going to have to drop out soon. Right? Yeah. You're going to have to go. I got to drop out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can still ask for financial support. You're going to write all the books. I will always be asking for your financial support. <laughs> You'll probably release another folk album. And <laughs> As I go walking. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. And then, oh and then he's going to always be telling babies to shut up. <laughs> shut up, babies. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy is. So that happened. He is a mess. Yeah, he is a complete That, mess. in fact, happened. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Because I can't. I can't do anything. Well, um, <laughs> it, it, it appears as though, I know we don't want to talk about coronavirus. We can, oh, Vanessa Hudgens is a complete hose beast. <laughs> She's. Did you guys see this? 
watched she's... two videos of her. Oh my uh, god! god. It's, it's on our site. Right? It's on our site. I yeah. did yesterday afternoon when I because I first saw the first video. <laughs> Who is she, by the way? She's some like young actress. She was in uh, High School Musical. Okay, High School yeah. Musical. High school, I... She was in High School Musical one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> If you guys didn't see those. Okay. I have a, a, a young daughter, so, you know. Yeah, I have a son yeah. who would have been like, you can't catch yeah. and watch one of those. <laughs> so anyway, she releases this video. Now, the first video, she's obviously at home, and she looks bad. Like, she looks like she's just woken up or something. or She looks kind of high, I, I think, um, because she is, her voice is a little slurry, and her hair is kind of a mess. And she's basically saying, like, you guys, I don't know what the big deal about this virus is. It's like, so people are going to die. Well, first she goes, she goes, July, that is just bullshit. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she said. I mean, it's, I mean, which, I, that, it does suck. July does suck. I can, I kind of feel her on that. But then she went into the whole, people are, she's, listen. It's just I mean, inevitable. it's just a virus. People are going to die. It's inevitable. And you're like, oh. <laughs> and then at the very end, she trails off and she's like, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Yeah, you probably should And shouldn't. then she shuts it off. So the world exploded yeah. and in anger. Mm -hmm. And so not terribly long later, she released another video in which she looks totally different. She looks bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. She had makeup made on. Up, yeah. Her hair is mm -hmm. all yeah. brushed and smooth. Yeah. And she sounds completely different. Like, yeah. she sounds... Different, but she doesn't apologize per se. She said she does the liberal apology where she's like, "All y'all took my words out of context." Yeah, <laughs> except that no, Wait, we didn't. Except for you said the thing. They came out of your and the there was words no came out. context to. <laughs> I don't know what you're. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah. So it took a while yeah. more because um, more people, of course, had to be like, let, let's, let's explain to you how one actually apologizes. It's not like that. Yeah. And then so she did release a statement instead of a video, which was probably a smart move on her part. She probably got some coaching on that. Yeah. Um, in which she finally actually apologized. Yeah. So some, that's what happened. Somebody her. asked how my daughter is. My daughter's fine, except for she didn't get to go to state, which sucks all the yeah. monkey balls. And um, she won't be able to swim for the foreseeable future, which also sucks all the monkey balls. So we have to find something for her to do. Yeah. You can't swim on land. I, I my know. kid had a, got a text from his group of friends. All of them were getting together at a park or something to hang out. And I was like, well, this is the 15 day period that we're supposed to be like practicing as much social distance as possible. So I'm not gonna let you go yet. Yeah. And then I felt like, you know, mean mom. You're the mom. Well, that, that's but, been, I mean, I'm that's trying to a, do the right thing. That's been a big conversation, right? We had that conversation with our executive producer on the air last week is, are you the parent who makes your kid stay at home or are you the parent who allows your kid to go out and mingle with all the other kids? Because this is a predicament for a lot of parents, right? Yeah. Some parents are of the school of thought where it's okay to let your kids be go do the sleepovers and be you know commingling and whatnot and then there are other parents who are like uh-uh you're in lockdown so it, it's there's a there's a dichotomy right yeah there's a dichotomy of thought and i don't and i feel very conflicted about it mm -hmm. but i just felt like i mean at least right now when they're saying Let's. This is a 15-day period that we're in. Can we just all try yeah. to just do two weeks? That's it. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. And so I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying. Yeah. And somebody asked, "Are we going to go to Texas? Is we're supposed to go to spring break for Texas?" And I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I we're taking it one day at a time. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I, it's so hard at this point with how fast everything moves to know. Yeah, what, what's the world going to be like two weeks from now? Yeah, and I don't know. Are we going to like traveling and stuff like that? I mean, we. It's just everything is so weird right now. I want to go because I feel like, listen, we could be quarantined here or we could be quarantined in a, a cabin right. there, you know, and just as bored. But are are they going to have travel restrictions on people? We don't know what's going to happen. So we're just sort of just taking it one day at a time, to be honest. And the good news is that you have a place and you have a car to get there. Like you didn't yeah. have to cancel anything necessarily. Yeah, but, it's, just... a, but it's a 15 hour drive. So yeah. between here and there, <laughs> there are a lot of... There are a lot of points that we would have to stop, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in those other states and what kind of. Uh, You'd be um, getting drive through, probably. Yeah, so oh, well, totally. We wouldn't be stopping, yeah. like, and in, 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 like having leisurely, you know, lunches and dinners or anything like that. But my point is, I just want to make sure that there are no um, barriers. Yeah, on the way. Yeah, I mean, it's a legit question. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Somebody so saying my time. somebody saying my kids been going fishing with a few buddies, which I think is totally fine. Yeah, like I if mean, they're outside and they're like outside. they're with a couple people that you know are okay, and I, they're not sitting like this. I think it's fine. It's people got mad at this yesterday that you're like they're like you're not social distancing. If we social distance, you know what you would see? You would see like an empty screen. <laughs> this is what you would see. Hey you guys. So I don't know what to tell you. Like we either do like, these hey, videos hey, or we don't. Hey everybody, hey. <laughs> I mean I don't know what to do. I mean we could do this. We could we could go way back here. Hey everybody. We We're just, social distancing. I'll be like right here. We are so this office is <laughs> it's like <laughs> you look ridiculous. I know. Sorry. You look ridiculous. <laughs> you guys, we're so we're so like on top of each other in this office. If, <laughs> there's no escaping each and other. And also in the studio. I mean, there's no escaping yeah. each other. It is this is and everybody in here. Yesterday I was in we were in the office and it's there there are like ten people in here. We're I don't this see is the, just there's there, no way to social distance yeah. myself from the people in this office. I mean, we are considered essential like a, like communications personnel. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it from these people. It's not gonna be from anything else because I gotta come into this office and deal with these smelly boys. <laughs> so it's gonna be from one of these smelly boys. It's probably not gonna be from her because yeah. she's sitting at home every day. I know it. But it's these boys. I don't know what they're doing. I didn't doing go to the late. grocery store yesterday. Did you? It was packed, you guys. <clears throat> it was completely packed. And it's just so weird how much of some food is available and how much other foods are completely yeah, out. Yeah, and they're leaving all the gluten free stuff on the <laughs> shelf. Notice that? I, mean, I couldn't, I, I got like the last loaf of bread, yeah. which was amazing. And then, but you can't, I mean, there's some, you can get all the fruit and vegetables you want. Um, but you know, like pe I couldn't find my peanut butter, right? Yeah. Like I couldn't get my regular Jif crunchy peanut but butter. But isn't it funny though, how like all of a sudden people are like, I am not gluten free anymore. <laughs> right. Like, I'm just not. I, it's like all that crap is left on the shelf. It's like, that's weird. Yeah, it's a little Cause like odd. last week you were gluten free. And this week, you're so not. And what was too, what was also weird is you could get all the hot dogs you wanted. You couldn't get any hot dog buns, which makes me think, what are people doing with these hot dog buns? What, you know what I mean? What do you mean, what are people doing with the hot Well, if they're not buying are, the hot dogs, then why are they buying the hot dog buns? Oh, well, maybe they already had hot dogs, like, in, like, the freezer and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, yeah that's probably We have right. a bunch of hot dogs at home. We use bread. Just a regular bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in desperate times. You yeah, know, use it's whatever. Actually, they're fine with bread. They're really good. And forget about buying, like, any kind of cleaning anything, right? Like, you yeah. can get laundry detergent, but mm -hmm. that's it. You can't get Clorox wipes or Lysol or anything like that. You can like always that. clean with vinegar. Oh, God, I hate vinegar. I know she, uh, hate, I know she hates it, but you can. I hate you it. You can always clean with that. It's like, worst comes to worst. You can, anyway, you can do that. What, what else is going on? Um, any Anything else happening besides... You know, the well, really the, bad stuff. The, oh, gonna... Jared Leto was on a 12-day. <laughs> you guys know who Jared Leto is? He's an actor. This is the funniest <laughs> story. He went and Is the... he the guy that was in the movie where Matt McConaughey is super skinny? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, but what, what what was that called? Do you guys know what that was called? When they had AIDS, and, right? And, the, and he was, yeah, yeah, what he was got it? AIDS. What somebody was You help. guys, somebody tell us what that movie was. Jared Leto, you know Jared Leto. He was the Joker in one of, and he was the Joker before um, Joaquin Phoenix became the Joker in one of the Marvel movies. Um, Jared Leto, you guys know Jared. Leto. Really, so so movie. good looking, like almost too good looking for his own good. See, I've n I've never thought he it, like he's pretty. Him. He's too pretty. Like he's not my type because he's pretty. Anyways, Jared Leto went into he went on this med Dallas Buyers Club. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Marnie. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. You. <laughs> thank you, Sherry. Okay. So anyways, um, anyways, Jared Leto went into the desert <laughs> and he went into this meditation thing for like 12 days with no cell phone, no nothing. And he just went and meditated. This is what celebrities do. They're like, I'm going to go on a meditation <laughs> journey for 12 days. <laughs> and so they go, so he went to this meditation journey for 12 days, comes out of the desert and he's like, I broke my meditation. <laughs> I'm here, like, everybody. And he's like, oh, shit. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> There's a pandemic. <laughs> and so this is what's happening. <gasps> this is what's happening. He's I like, heard the same thing about the Big Brother cast, right? Like, if they still do that in the UK or wherever it is that they hold these people up for 30 days. And they have, they still have no idea that this is happening. Can you imagine, like, coming out and hearing that this is happening? I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't be, I would be like, there's no freaking way that this whole country is on lockdown. It's like the, it, there's I'm, no way this is happening. I'm not laughing at him, but I'm kind of laughing at him. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, because who, seriously, you're in a 12 day, this is, only celebrities are, are able to do like a 12 day meditation where they're, you know, where they can go into the I desert know. and meditate for 12 days. <laughs> 
And only celebrities' sisters, like Amal Clooney's sister, would try to sell like some freaking designer it's face mask. I gotta say though, if I were gonna wear a face mask, I would wear one of the ones because it's leopard. <laughs> Y'all, I. I, and you know, I love me some leopard. Like, I always tell my daughter, leopard is a neutral. Like, ever since she was, like, two, I'm like, leopard is a neutral. Because leopard is my jam. And, it's, and it is, it's leopard. Oh, my God. It's, like, $33. It's, it's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. And it's stupid that she's... And it provides absolutely no protection it from doesn't. anything. It's just super fashionable, you guys. It's so, so when dumb. you're at the airport... And you've got your like designer luggage, you got your Louis Vuitton stuff, you can put on your leopard. That leopard doesn't face offer map. protection. No. It's useless. It's literally just trying to make a fashion statement out of a health crisis. Well, I mean, she's, That's gross. she's a Mall Clooney sister. It's not like she's going to get coronavirus. <laughs> all the celebrities are getting it. It's like all the rage. Well, because they all go to Australia and stuff. Yeah. Right? Tom Hanks, by the way, update on Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. They have a case of the blahs. Mm -hmm. That is their biggest symptom from coronavirus right now. Yeah. I think everybody right now has a huge case of the blahs. Yeah. So they're faring pretty well, I yeah. gotta say. I mean, and they're, in their, great. they're in their 60s. So yeah. they, yeah, so. So there you go. All right, anything else happening? Well, I mean, there's a lot happening, I guess, but I don't wanna talk about any Let's of it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a lot of work. Let's see, what else? Um, James Woods, we're talking about James Woods today. De Blasio went to the gym, even though nobody's supposed to go to the gym, but de Blasio's like, well, I can go to the gym because I'm important. Right, I am an elite. I'm supposed to be, I have to be really healthy so I can tell everybody else what's going on, so I get to go to the gym. <laughs> Just not you. <laughs> That's so Bill de Blasio, So right? de Blasio. That's so him. Um, AOC's losing her crap over this, uh, all of this, like a thousand dollars for every person thing. Cause she doesn't think it's nearly it's enough. It's not enough because AOC, right? She wants everybody to have everything. Yeah. I mean, forever. like we should all get free cars and stuff or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's AOC. You guys, what are you, what are you going to do? <clears throat> what are you going to do? Um, uh, I don't know. We were talking all anyway. sorts. There's just all sorts. Of, it's just all corona I know. coronavirus all the time. And I just, I can't. <laughs> But our podcast will be coming out later this afternoon, um, and that is not a lot on coronavirus. So. Somebody asked us where the testing kits are. It's a great question. I don't know. Um, do you, do I'm assuming know? that you can call your doctor if you have symptoms and would like to get one. And you're supposed your, to be more widely available now. And your health department, too, right, if you have questions about that. Yeah. So I don't think there should be any not being able to be tested anymore if you're symptomatic. I think they're still trying to discourage people who are asymptomatic um, from getting them because it's kind of pointless right now. Mm -hmm. But there's more tests. So we're going to say, everybody, don't freak out when you start to see this huge climb in the number of cases. That's expected because more and more people are getting tested. What I am more curious about is out of the number of cases that rise, how many deaths are we seeing, right? Because then we'll really start to get a handle on how much of a killer is this virus or not, right? Because yeah. there's been two deaths here in Indiana. Uh, so far, that was yesterday. Yeah. I both, don't know if that's changed. Both elderly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and by the way, I saw yesterday <laughs> that there, apparently, if you are type A blood, you are much more likely to get it and die from it than if you are type O. I'm a type O. I am type A. So you yeah, are type A, really? Yeah, I am A positive. I've always liked to say that I am A plus. <laughs> I am. So. I am O negative. I am a universal donor. So. That and everybody. If you, by the way, if you're interested in donating blood, they could really use it. The Red Cross could really use your donations right now. Um, so if you want to, and do how, that, how I do they determine it. that? They're just saying that more people with A positive just blood big, have died yeah more people like out of the people the known known cases they there's been a study of the known cases and it's like 63 percent more a positive yeah or just a yeah the ra's versus o's now i don't know why b's weren't mentioned or a b's or whatever but anyway huh. yeah it that was a, just an odd 
sort of study I saw. That, that is really interest. very interesting. I need to look at that. Like, you need to send that to me when we get off of the thing here because okay. that stuff really, the whole blood typing thing really interests me. Well, I was super irritated at first because, in fact, I tweeted about it because uh, the Daily Mail, when they did an article about it, <coughs> they had so many errors in the article that it made it impossible to really understand what they were saying. So the second sentence, initially, when they first p published it, said, People with type O blood are 63% more likely to get and die from this virus than people with type O blood. And I was like, what? So they, I had no idea, like who's the blood type that needs to be more worried here? And then they finally fixed it. So it is, if you're A, you're more likely to get it and have a bad response to it than if you're O. I don't know why, but this is the study. So, yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. That is, um, that's interesting. I, somebody said I have the golden blood type. I'm not sure what, what is that, that. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, O negative. I don't, yeah, congrats. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know I mean, so what that means. I just know do you that get a prize? I, I just know that I'm a universal donor. So if anybody mm -hmm. needs it in my family or friends or whoever needs it, I can give it. Yeah. You know? And listen, I'm good at giving blood. So and does I it? Just, does it? I got good veins. O positive is universal as well, right? So like, I, I think so. Just O. Uh, o in general is can just, just give to everybody. I think you can give. I think anybody who's O is just a universal donor. Okay. Yeah, I got good veins too. I'm like nurse porn. <laughs> <laughs> so you just, you just stick a needle in me, man. I don't know my kid's blood type. Which yeah, I don't know my. I was starting either. to freak out about that yesterday. It's like I don't know because my I am A positive. My husband is B positive, and so I look to see. Well, does that mean our kid is something? And it said our kid could literally be any. Yeah, I think he can be anything. I think so. It just, I don't. It just I don't depends know. on the person, and I'm not sure. What, I feel what like my, I should know that. I don't know what my daughter is either. I probably need to find out. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like. And I'm, you're right, Lisa. God is in control. You're absolutely right. Right. He's in control. Everybody needs to just calm down and it's it's okay. Every, everything's fine. It's totally fine. We're all gonna be Serenity fine. Now. One thing that we need to not do is depend on the federal government. I mean I this is the thing. This is why I don't like this whole yeah. I need a thousand dollars a month from the no, it's my money. I know this is government, not, right? Their immediate response to everything is, is just throw the cash throw, at it. Throw our cash at right. us. Throw as, as our if there's cash. an endless supply. It's there isn't an we are already broke. We're already twenty trillion dollars in debt. I, I mean it's like okay, what I don't. I just can't even imagine what this is going to do uh, to the economy. Like this I is just, yeah. It's like we're not looking six months down the road at what this is going to do. It this, and then Joe Biden's going to become president. And good lord, that man doesn't even know where he is. Yeah, this is not. I just there needs to be a more organized approach to helping yeah. people in actual need, mm -hmm. not people like us who continue to work and receive a paycheck. There are people who need this money way more than we do, and there needs to be some way of making sure that those people, those businesses <laughs> that have had to lay off the people, are the ones getting the assistance. They're telling me I'm not universal. I'm not a universal donor. I can only contribute to oh, I can only contribute to positives. So I could give really? to, I could give to you. A negative can only contribute. Or no, to positive? I'm negative. Am I O negative? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm O negative. So I can I can't give to you. So I can only contribute to negatives. Positives oh. can contribute to positives. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. We're, we're clarifying. I have. No we don't want to give out false information here on our Facebook lives. <laughs> right. Lord forbid. Everything we do that. that you hear here is yes. God's honest truth, you guys. Vanessa <laughs> Hudgens is a hag. <laughs> and we really mean it. Positives give to positives. <laughs> negatives give to negatives. Something like that. <laughs> Anyway, we gotta go. Yeah, we do. We have to go do some pre-records and um, and talk Rob down from the ledge again this morning. You guys, bring so it we in. Fought on the. Bring it in. We fought on the area. Yesterday. Bring it in, you guys. You guys, stay sane today. It is day three of the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, be nice to your families. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Everything's gonna be all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Bye, Bye guys.